Welcome back. This is episode number 15. And at the end of the last episode, uh, we just started this term but haven't gone through anything that's happened, so there's a few things to do. Um, send some transports back and find a new place for our main fleet to go. I'm kind of inclined to go to Helsinki because it's a rich world. Uh, the other two remaining worlds that we know of uh, normal and poor. So yeah, we'll hit the rich one first. Scouts arrive there and we'll head over to core number six. And the Walden have declared war on Lincoln. And we've got two new technologies that have rolled off the line. And that rounds out the bio tree except for nano intelligence, which takes a really long time. So what we'll do is scrap the uh, bio-research facilities and replace them. Like so. Oops, there was one. another one. I think that's all we had. And I'll upgrade that research facility there. Like that. I'm willing to leave one there because that's Wessex. That's a um, shipyard world. So that's that done. I think that's all yeah, that's all of the bio-research we had. So that's that done. And I think we'll do the same next term with the weapons research. Once call heads are done. So that's all good. Now we've got... Um, the mother arcs here at Earth, they can come down to uh, Alpha Monoceros. Um, yeah, we'll send both of them down. We'll colonize that world. Uh, and we'll back that up with some. Just uh, give them a bit of defense there while the world's getting set up. And there's some ships. Yeah, these, I think these guys have some population, so we'll send them down there instead of parking them beside Earth, which was the original plan. And that's it. So let's go on to the next turn. Okay, we've got some scouting and some some dilutions, so that's nothing to worry about. Okay, transports arrived at Oak Tier. Alright, they can go back to Osvada. And we'll send the scout on to Mira. Alright, Corvettes are done. So we'll just quickly run through and do the uh, weapons labs. Starting with Earth. Oak Tier, one more. Earth, yeah, that's it. So that's the weapons research labs done. Now we've just got the two projects going. The shield research will be done in 16 turns, and after that we'll scrap the uh, defense research and everything can go through the skunk works. Uh, we've got 75 population at Edinburgh. So the usual deal. Off they go. And on we go. That's a lot of ships moving into Shoni, coming from the area that the Cryokan are, or it could be the Jolutions, but that looks pretty much like they're heading for Shoni. So we might be in a bit of trouble there. Uh, what have, what's happened here? I've just run into somebody in deep space, that's fine. And we've scouted the core world. No, we're not making peace. Uh, no defense alliance? Nope. Transports arrived at Earth. Okay, yep, we were expecting that. Scout at Core 6. Alright, uh, that can go to Core 4. That's fine. And everything else is building. 75 at Mito just hit one of those points where a whole wave of new populations rolling off the line. 
Alright, cool. So, yeah, show only. Let's see what happens. Yeah, they're definitely going to hit us. 62 is... it's the Kraken. 9 assault ships. 15 transports. That's nothing to worry about. Uh, 19 intruder 2s. I don't really know how strong they are, but uh, the battle cruisers are, are a problem. And 8 falcons as well. This isn't going to go well for us, actually. Um, yeah, there's not really much to do there, but I will have a look and see how the combat goes. So I'm curious to know how the missiles go. Uh, we can't tell the missiles what to fire on, because we can't select them. But uh, there's so many ships that I don't think the missiles are going to do much. Yeah, they've barely, uh, barely harmed the shields there of... Uh, the Falcons they fired on, that's not even their strongest ship. So, uh, what were the, uh... Where are the intruders? This must be them. No? Landing pods. Well, let's try and get our militia at least to do some damage to their... Landing pods. Okay, whatever, the, whatever troops they land. Um, yeah, look, it's basically over. I don't think we've got anything done there. Hmm. This does not bode well. And we didn't kill a single thing. Well, it's not good at all. So they've uh, done a, a direct bombardment. That is unacceptable. No, we're not interested that in that. Yeah, we're still not interested in peace. The scout has arrived. Uh, oh, okay, Mira's now depopulated. Some sort of um, disaster happened there, obviously. Go down to Epsilon uh, Antille. Yeah, battle defeat at Shoney. Okay, so presumably they're going to destroy... Where's the fleet gone? Ah, okay. Uh, Tachyon Storms... Doesn't show up in the list, but I presume Tachyon Storms means uh, we can't see into that square. So we can't see the fleet, even though they're in, a, in orbit above us. Alright, that's a bit of a shame. Um, hmm, we might want to start defending ourselves a bit better, I think. Um, let's put some more 5, 6 uh, interceptors in the queues around the place, I think. Just, uh, I don't really know if it will do enough to stop stop any sort of attack, but um, yeah, look, we might it might help in the end if they if we have a fight where we've got just a few ships in orbit uh, it could be the, the difference between being crushed or dealing some damage so a little bit of extra defense could help uh, we've got some dreadnoughts around, but not many uh, so we might want to switch back to Dreadnoughts for a little while, I think. I'll let that one finish, but yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So the AI have actually counter-attacked properly for once. That's good to see, but um, I think the best case scenario is that we're going to hit their three homeworlds and then they won't have any sort of... they might be extinct or they won't have any way to support those fleets anymore. Unless they're like us, they've got a big bank account. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. That's all done. 75 at Payura. They can get down to Oak Tier. And that's all fine. Alright, Helsinki, uh, 
Yeah, okay, this is the Krogan one. Um, that's a pretty substantial fleet. We should be able to punch through it though, I think. So let's go in. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Um, let's first, oops, we'll group up and yeah. Get it roughly in the centre. Uh, we'll leave these guys back. They don't have any. They don't have anything to um, worry about. There's nothing on the planet's surface there. Oh, there are a few militia or whatever, but that can wait. We'll we'll definitely hang back in case it doesn't go well. Uh, yeah, we'll back up with the uh, destroyers though. So that's a good enough arrangement to start with. Let's send them in. And, um, wait a second, let's have a look at the firing range. Okay, so, I don't know the firing range on their units, but so uh, if we were to go there, I think that'd be good. Oh, they've got missile cruisers, though. That's something I'm going to get rid of. Maybe I'll send the uh, destroyers to attack them. I can't see their firing arcs, but anyway. All right, let's see how that goes. We'll start off with that as our opening strategy. Just going to get up in their face a fair bit. Lots of missiles coming out there. Probably should have uh, spread out the fleet a bit more, but no well. Let's um, pause there and move in a bit tighter. Look at all the fire coming out of those fighters. That's bad news. That's um, yikes. The destroyers are doing a fair bit of damage though. Yeah, that looks good. Let's get the uh, carriers taken down. Can we attack the fighters? Yeah, there you go. Wow, oh, they're retreating. Alright, so that means we go all the way to the end. Ah, that's kind of really awkward to do. Stay with them. Ah, oh, brutal. We're cleaning them up, that's for sure. Yeah, so the fighters fly out, do a bit of damage, and then they fly back in and dock. And we just saw them, a few more fighters coming out there. They have to sort of dock back with the carriers for uh, supplies. And uh, that looks like everything. Uh, there's one thing there. Whatever that is. There we go. Good. Alright, this is Shipyard World with trade mission and research nexus for weapons 81 Kraken exterminator core 7 that's fine Shioni uh, okay so they're just going to do something to us here which would be exterminate yep not surprising and core 4 no trade missions thanks no Okay, 44... Uh, 42 ships arrived at Core 7. What's this about? Ah, yep, this is the... 
Uh, okay, this was the uh, small assault force we sent off from um, uh, from Wessex, and it looks like so we originally went off to attack the uh, Lincoln, but uh, it looks like the Walden Forest have taken uh, Core 7 off the Lincoln's hands. Uh, we'll try their homeworld then. Oh, I, may, I think that's their homeworld? I don't know what makes me think that. Maybe it's not. Uh, oh no, that would be it there, Lincoln. But uh, yeah, we can hit that one. Uh, Granada, alright. Nothing there. 67 ships are there. Alright, we can go on to the next place. Scout. Uh, where do we want to send the scout? Core 2? Sure. War between the TIs and the Ancient Race of Machines. Um, battle victory, yep. Battle defeat, yep. Now, yeah, okay, so we'll just keep an eye on that to make sure um, we see any fleets leaving uh, that place. If they're coming to attack us or if they're coming to counter-attack the uh, main main attack fleet down there, so keep an eye on that. It's going to center at Wessex, alright. Uh, the only other thing I really want at Wessex is more shipyards at this point. So let's do that. Biodiversity and rare metals, uh, rare minerals at core 4. Okay, everything this one. So yeah, I'm just going to hit the uh, screen over what used to be Shione. Um, so we can see any, where the fleet goes to. And we didn't see anything go there, so... Hmm. Armoured assault ships have arrived at Augusta. Right, now they're going to regroup with um, our other forces down here. Let's load up the... Ah, oh, we don't have enough hot tanks yet. Crap. Okay, whatever. Uh, dreadnoughts. Yep. Scout has arrived. At Epsilon Antilles, and there's nothing of interest there. Uh, we can go on to Edis and Toro. Another orbital shipyard at Augusta. That's good. Um... Right, so we're just going to build one research lab there. And everything else is okay. So on we go. Core 2. Just scouting. Empty transports at... Buta? Yep. Scout has arrived. Okay, we can go up to Sisakit. I guess that's how it's pronounced. Um, dreadnoughts, yep. Interceptors, yeah, we're building a few of those. Surface shipyard, right. Now yeah, we'll upgrade that immediately. Small orbital. And everything else is okay. So we'll just keep moving again. Navara. Ah, oh, yeah, this is the next Cryokin world. Okay, 14 orbital lasers, 23 light missiles, 22 heavy missiles. Yeah, we can deal with that. We might have to clear out a few of the orbital lasers, but... Well, not really have to, but certainly it would be beneficial to, so... Uh, let us do... You know what, I won't actually do that. I'll keep them in two separate groups so they can attack the orbital lasers each. Yeah, it's a better idea. Um, but I will group up the ground units. Group and line. And you can stay back there. As can the infectors. Start pause. Alright, now they're attacking that guy. And they're attacking that one. And I'll keep the destroyers back. No, we'll send the destroyers against that one. Why not? We don't care about them. Those shields got fairly damaged. 
Hang in there, fellas. I'm really sorry about that static noise. I don't know what triggers the uh, distortions there, but it's really annoying. Uh, one's down, so we'll pull back. And that one's dead too. So we'll land our troops now. Probably it would be in range of that orbital, but uh, that one there will be destroyed, so that's good. If I can get it dead. Yep. So let's pull back and wait for the uh, dropships to... Or for the ground troops to do their duty. Speed it up. Yeah, we might lose one. The enemy's retreating. Okay, that's good. What are they getting away with? Just a few transports or something? Alright. So, we need one more. Yeah, sometimes the landing pods um, can't find room to land, so you just move the ground forces a bit. And uh, they'll land the last guy. Okay, cool. So, usual deal. We're only interested in killing all the uh, missile launchers first. And I can probably send the uh, dreadnoughts back in now. Start dealing with these many, many, many orbital lasers. That's one done. Let's go to that one. That one's done. They can go to there. There you can go to there. Just doing a bit of leapfrogging. that with uh, plenty of time to spare. Maybe not quite plenty of time to spare, but enough time to spare. Alright, um, yeah, we'll exterminate this one, 100 Kraken. Just coming up there. Alright, uh, the Ark ship has arrived, so let's settle that place. Um, we'll give it a name. It will be Cressat, which is a, uh, a homeworld of one of the family dynasties from the books that I'm pulling these names from. Uh, we're going to quickly populate it, so we'll put a colonist workshop in. Um, what else? We're just going to guard there, I think. So I don't know where that fleet went. Yeah, it's a bit of a mystery. I'll leave that off there. Uh, okay, what else have we got? Uh, empty transports at Wasvada, loaded transports at Cressat. They can go back to Earth. Oh, we have to unload them. Sure. Five to Earth and five to Mito. 
Um, 59 ships there. Alright, onto Vladivostok. Battle victory. Ultimate fighters are done. Yeah, well, we're not really interested in that. 12 turns. Okay, this is something substantial. That could be uh, one of these two things or something else. Maybe the bio research one. Who knows? Something big though, which is a good thing. Research at Augusta. All right, that can be uh, that can be upgraded to the skunk works. And dreadnoughts at Wessex now. Wessex is just upgrading its shipyard. That's the only reason that. I oh, know this one can be topped out. Yep, that's good. And everything else is fine. Alright, so here we have a Lincoln world. And it has lots of stuff. Uh, including to three sunburns, so that's probably too much for our small fleet to handle. Uh, even the Dreadnought threes probably can't handle that on their own, so we will stand off. Bosvada. What's going on here? Oh, the Klogu. What are they doing? Just standing in orbit. And we're scouting. Yep, that's all fine. Loaded transports at Oak Tier. Alright, so Oak Tier's got 90 and climbing. Um, where are we going to send these guys? They can't do that one. Maybe they can do Yamoto. Mm, Scout can go to Central Corp. Treadnoughts and Predators. It's all good. 75 at Granada. Okay, so they can get under Oak Tier. And on we go. Vladivostok. Alright. Um, wow, 115 light missiles. That's hilarious. And nothing else to defend it. Oh wow, that's terrible. We are going to cream this battle. Uh, we'll pull the infectors back and group up the landing pods. Add a line. And we'll land those troops. And I'll make it safely down through those orbitals, I'm pretty sure. We'll just clear out all the uh, missiles. So I'll speed it up and have a bit of a sneezing fit while uh, I mute the sound here. Yeah, so this will be a pretty short-lived world, even despite all those massive numbers of missiles, we just carved through it like they don't even matter, and they can't do anything to hurt us, so, yeah. This is what happens when you um, over-specialise, there's not enough ways for them to counter-attack. In this respect, this element similar to Rebellion, uh, as if they were to build just laser batteries on planet surface instead of building shields or ground troops. Um, it does stop orbital bombardment. You can't just rock in and uh, destroy it from orbit, but uh, you can do land invasions. 
in Rebellion you can do sabotage missions and all sorts of other things, but yeah, integrated defense is much more effective than going overboard with just one kind of defense. Better send the um, ships in and actually start taking care of those lasers. <coughs> I might go up there and do those ones actually. speed it up now for sure, there's not much left to do. Those guys can do that one. And the ground units will be taken care of as well. I suppose I could do that. And that's pretty much done. So that's pretty much the croak and done as far as we know. <clears throat> All right, uh, exterminate. And I'm going to have a proper sneezing fit. Be right back. Okay, so until we know more about where the Krokan are, um, let's bring the main fleet back to the rich world and we'll prepare to colonize that one. Uh, loaded transports have arrived at Cressat. They can go back to... no? Where? St. Lincoln, yeah. War between the Jolution and the Kraken. Uh Battle victory. Interceptor missiles. I don't think we need to worry about any more missiles, especially at Earth. So that's fine. Or oh, Mito. Osvada, okay, the research labs are done. On to Skunkworks. Uh, small shipyard at Wessex, and we want to upgrade that one to an orbital. I don't think there's anything we can build with the small. Oh, we could build some infiltrators, uh, upgraded scouts, and uh, the same at Wessex. Sorry, uh, that it was Wessex. I mean the same at. Um, Press that, we'll just upgrade the industry. I meant the same at Augusta. Uh, I thought I was going to build a shipyard here, yeah, that's next. Okay. Uh, let's see, what else? Nothing really. So we need to find the last Cryokan world. Um, I might just do a map trade with Jolution to see if they know where they are. Let's bring up the diplomacy screen and we'll talk to the Jolutions. Map info for map info. <laughs> what say you? Yes, they accept. Alright, did we find them? Well, they'll be out here somewhere. We might just need to build a new um, scanner jigger on this world or something. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that if the uh the Jolutions don't know where they are then we'll just have to scout them out ourselves. So what else do we need to worry about? Nothing I think. Uh we can just go on to the next turn. Central core. Uh, that's fine. No, we're not making peace with you. Nope. Uh, we'll go to Trat. Yep. 
and war between the Walden and the Kalugu, and the Walden and the Kroken. Scout is at Eta Centauri with no planet. <laughs> I was just looking at that little background art, that's pretty cool. Uh, on to the Neutron Star. And another research lab is done at Orleans, Skunk Works time. And we've got a fleet here, probably Cryokin. But I can't see how they can maintain a fleet one. Let's see where it goes. We've got a few dreadnoughts there, so we'll just keep an eye on it. Whoa, it's moving really fast towards St. Lincoln. Scout at Trat. Um, you can go into Core 5. Yeah, see so St. Lincoln, I don't know what. We don't know the owner or the number of ships. We could be going to the wormhole. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to St. Lincoln though, we're going to need more stuff. It can't be a big fleet actually because the engine trail is not very big. And the bigger the fleet, the bigger the engine trail. Um, for example, yeah, see, it just seems a bit thicker than. So it must be a relatively small fleet. But anyway, Edinburgh's okay. Cress out the light industry's done. Okay. We'll upgrade that to heavy industry for both. And get those transports back to Augusta, no, not Augusta. We don't need to ship people off there. Ed Edinburgh, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Where are they going? No, they were going to the wormhole, so it's okay. Uh, Yamoto. Can we kill it? It's got no. 10 orbital lasers. 20 heavy missiles. Uh, we might be able to do this. Space Marines, one Mars, one hover tank. Yeah, look, we probably can just get through this, I reckon. Let's give it a crack. Alright, so we'll group up our fleet a bit. Unfortunately, there's one Dreadnought 2 in there. But um, nothing we can do about that. So one group will attack uh, that one. Ah, we're just configuring the fleet. Stop. Pause. Uh, one will attack that, and the other one will attack that. But that group will need to move out. The Dreadnought 3s seem to have quite a lot of space between them already, so... We'll just leave them be. Maybe add a second line. And they've got stasis shields, which means they'll survive for a bit longer. Alright, that's that one done. So I can pull the Treadnought 3s back. Not twos can come back as well, and then we'll land somewhere down here. There's a Mars, so we'll have a quick look in that. That must be it there. Big defense, but there's only one of them, so that's their problem. Let's speed this up. The enemy is retreating, right? That's fine. They're running away with their assault ships. Yeah, whatever. Can't stop it. Let's 
Just gotta get rid of these missiles, really. Oh, there goes the Mars. Boom, boom. Alright, let's send the Dreadnought 3s in at least. Carve it down, boys. I got those ones. And we'll send these guys down here. Just gotta get rid of the bulk of the missiles. I'm done. It's not a lot of time. I might bring the um, um, but assault ships over to help with the ground forces. Oops. Next. I don't think we're in much trouble here. We might lose one guy. Alright, pause. I'll just send these guys to attack. That. These guys can take out the hover tank. Just adding a little bit more firepower to that stuff on the ground. I'm running out of time. One minute left. We'll be okay. As long as we get everything on the ground. Should do. Hey, look, I selected an individual ship. I just had to double click it. Right, now I know how to separate them. <laughs> Alright, uh, he can go up there then. seconds, I don't think we're going to get all the ground forces. Yeah, that's annoying. Too many ground forces. Unless we've got all the orbitals. But yeah, I'm not going to get the last of them. Side of battle, surface shipyard. Okay, and that needs to be upgraded. Uh, so does the skunk center, but we will do the shipyard first. And dreadnoughts at Wessex. Alright, so that new orbital shipyard can start building some new dreadnoughts. And we'll go for another shipyard. One infiltrator's done. Cool. The infiltrator can go where? Where do we want to go? We've mostly explored all that. Maybe I'll send it right down. No, the scout's going to go and do those ones. Hey, what have we got here? The Walden. I've come down and colonized all this stuff. 
Sneaky, sneaky. I'm right over here. Let's see if anybody's got those ones yet. Alright, Oak Tear's gone unhappy, so we'll need some happiness structures. So we've been pumping up the population, but I forgot to be building the, um, the happiness facilities. And they take uh, six turns, so yeah, that's quite a while. Oh well. Get to it. Um. Hmm. No sign of that fleet. Yeah, Moto Auto Resolve, I think. Um. Yeah, they just got slightly reinforced. But that's fine, we can just auto resolve that. And exterminate. Core 5. We'll go to core 10. Whoops, ignore. No attack. No. No. Transports at Pyura. Scout can move on. And battle victory, right. So he can go now to Nico. Uh, all except that guy. And yeah, that guy has to go back. All the way back. To... Actually to Oak Tier. Because... What we're doing at Oak Tier is... Oak Tier is very rich. So it will be building the ground units of the future. And Wessex will be just restricted to building ships. Um, dreadnoughts. Right, that's that one. And that's on its way. But they're all busy, so that's good. Heavy industry. Okay, so we're going to keep upgrading one, and the other one can start building happiness structures. And otherwise we're okay. Uh, but we can move on one of the mother arcs. I forgot to do that. Whoops. Let's do that. Alright. Uh, no. Empty transports at Earth, loaded transports at Oak Tier. Uh, they can go back to Granada. Alright, so that place is still fine. Scout has arrived. No planet. Yeah, meh. Uh, on to Vega. Dreadnoughts at Wessex. Now, uh, why is Wessex not still building? Eh. Oh, the new little shipyard is not done. Okay. Uh, it needs to be a orbital. Rare minerals, yep. Um... Everything's okay, I think. Jolutions and the Hunyun. Hunyun, I should say. Ah, uh, no. No tech trading. No. Look at that, keep 7,000, and I think it's in our favour. Don't know about that one. Okay, scout has arrived, core 10, core 9. Player eliminated, the Kraken. Yay! That's good news. They are no more. Not even a footnote in the history of the galaxy. That's what we wanted to know. So that would be putting us at number one. <laughs> yeah. Well worth that fist pump. All right. And you can see, as we were looking at the... Um, last time we were looking at the graph was around about here, I think. 
and we went from strength to strength to strength, even though we lost one world. We lost... We lost around about there. Yeah. So we, this is when we recaptured uh, Orleans would, been, would, would be the reason for that. And then we lost Shoni. And of course the... Um, yeah, we're long, long ahead now. And our curve is quite strong. So I don't think gonna be a bit, anybody will be able to catch over it, up to us. Which is good. Uh, unrest on Oak Tier. Yeah, we thought that might happen. I will have to throw the taxes down until those new facilities are built. New technology, stasis shield. Fantastic. Okay. So, we've got Cruiser there. Um, what's coming up? Heavy antimatter warheads. Cool. Nice. Uh, no, we're not doing psychic research. Cruiser two three. Um, no, we're gonna we're gonna scrap that. We'll just quickly run through and scrap the um, research facilities. And we'll build one prototype lab up as quickly as possible. Um, no, sorry, I won't do that. We'll build four. And we'll look for some other defense. Yeah, there's one. anymore? Probably not actually. Let's just jump to the defense. Yeah, there is one more doing 1.1. Ah, 1 .1. oh, no. I know what it is. It's the um, basic labs are doing one. Yeah. Pretty sure that's what's going on there. Uh, anyway, let me go to like, let's see, it's in Lincoln. And we'll upgrade the Skunk Works to the Skunk Works Nexus there. Nexus there. Yep. Alright, and one more thing's going to try and get through. Um, one project. What's the fastest one? One of these. Detect medium wormholes. Yeah, look, I'll just throw that in there so that um, those basic labs do some research on something that may slightly have a chance at getting done. It may be, maybe. Alright, um, small orbital. Yeah, we'll build another one of those infiltrators, they're pretty cool. And skunk center. No, we're doing the orbital shipyard, then the skunk center. Okay. Seventy-five at Wessex. Um, yeah, we'll send five more from Wessex down to Oak to you. And on to the next turn. Nico, we what can we do at Nico? Can we bust through? That's a lot of stuff and four sunbeams. No, we can't. No attack. No deal. Alright, I think I'm going to uh, draw this episode to a close. Um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for episode number 16.